It's the first legislative day after government's decision to place a ban on the social microblogging site, Twitter. Speaker Femi Gwajabi Amila, in his welcome remarks, alludes to the worsening security situation in the country, coming after the one-week National Security Summit by the House. He is also quick to appreciate the conversation surrounding the ban on Twitter and its effect on Nigerians, especially the youth. The Speaker then announces the decision of the leadership in a move largely seen as preemptive of some members, especially those in the opposition. That the leadership of the House has mandated from today, the House Committees on Communication, Justice, Information and Culture, and National Security and Intelligence to immediately commence an investigation to determine, one, the circumstances of the decision by the Federal Government of Nigeria to ban the operations of Twitter in Nigeria, and two, the legal authority for the ban on the operations of Twitter in Nigeria. The committees are additionally mandated to invite the Minister of Information and Culture, Alaji Lai Mohamed, to brief the House of Representatives on the objectives, intent, and duration of the suspension of Twitter in Nigeria. But some PDP members are not pleased with the resolution of the leadership. Speaker, whilst I agree with the submission, with the position of the leadership of this House in total, I will only want to add that for breach of fundamental human rights, particularly right to fair hearing, right to freedom of speech and expression, that we should urge the executive arm in the interim, I use the word urge, the executive arm, in the interim to reverse this order pending the outcome of our interaction with the executive arm. 130 of my constituents. The aggrieved lawmakers staged a walkout and addressed the media immediately. They insist government's ban is undemocratic. It is a decision of the PDP caucus that will continue to tweet. It is a decision of the PDP caucus that we are ready to present ourselves for prosecution. The aggrieved lawmakers said they are determined to revisit the ban on Twitter by way of a motion on the floor of the House. Many Nigerians indeed await to see how that plays out and how soon. Jokeyadza, TVC News, Abuja.